Hello, what's up, my people? Um, you guys are welcome back today. I am CC Safari for those of you seeing me for the first time. And if you are here to subscribe to my channel, please don't forget to do that. Um, in today's class, I just want to show us how to make um, dashiki. Yeah, it's kind of a free wear, but many people call it dashiki. So. I'll just quickly show us how to do that. It's not hard, it's very very easy. Something you can just take your fabric and just do by yourself. So let me show you guys how to do that. This is the fabric I'm using. I'm using Ankara fabric. You now this is the down part with the pattern and this is the upper part. So I'm cutting both the front and the back together. Now this is, this is going to be the back, this is going to be the front, no zip allowance, nothing, nothing. So I'm actually using the whole length. Let's assume I will, let's just say I will fold it to maybe like one inch at this um, down part. So this place now, if you like, you can slant like 1.5 inch downward, then you slant then. But if you like, you can also leave it straight like this. You understand? So whichever one you're doing, it's cool. Either you're leaving it straight or maybe you just want to slant a little bit. But mostly the one that is common, um, the most commonly used one is just leaving it straight like this without slanting. You understand? But if you feel like you want to modernize your own, you can just slant so that it will go with your, your shoulder. So... I decided to do little slanting on my own. I decided to do little slanting on my own. So now the neck um depend on how you how wide you want it and how deep you want it. So but for me I'm going to use um four inches here, yeah? four inches deep, then the wideness is going to be three inches. So I'm just going to give it um, a round neck cuff like this. I'm just going to give it a round neck cuff like this. So the back, just the back now you can just measure maybe like half inch from the back. Then you cut like this. Because by the time you join this shoulder, this place is still going to be straight. Everything is going to be straight here instead of just leaving it straight. So I try to make it four here, three. If you want to make it V neck or any kind of neck, you can make it go. I think I prefer to use this. So now, definitely, you know, you should know that after joining the shoulder, um, the head will not be able to go through this place. So you are going to measure like six to seven inches downward. Then you open it. Just open it. Open it to that place like this. So that um it will be able to it will be able to go through it. So now after when you might have done this, if you like, you can take this to designers, let them use embroidery machine on it to do some little design on it. If you like, you can just use your uh, fabric. To cut um facing if you like you can turn it inside if you like you can turn it outside to just make it um a little bit more beautiful you understand well that's just the idea the back to the thing we just little facing at the back this one to little facing just like i said you can make it you can turn it in or you make it appear outside the facing or you give it to designers let them use embroidery machine to do some little dramas when need to be fried thing. so after when you might have done that after when you might have done that just from here from here to here just measure like 10 or 12 inches either 10 11 or 12 yeah that is where your hand is going to come out from you get and don't forget to take your measurement from the midpoint of your back to wherever you want this sleeve 
you understand maybe around here maybe around here 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 wherever you want it to stop you start your minimum from here then you take it to that place so all you need to do here now after cutting is just join the shoulder leave this place open close this place up to the hand then um, fold the down part you end the down part so this place up to this place then you're going to do whatever you want to do with this place you're going to aim it whichever way you want to aim it and if you're sewing this side you can decide to sew with one inch if you're sewing this side back if you're sewing from this side you can decide to sew with one inch so when you sew to this place you'll be able to fold this place very well you close the shoulder do whatever you want to do with the neck then your um dashiki is ready it's as simple as that. I hope you guys understand. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Please don't forget to share and subscribe. See you guys next time.